People are always asking me, Vic, how come you look so good? What's your secret? I tell them, secret? Well, listen up, because it's all hard work. And my Kill the Gene training program. With Vic and KTG, we will get you there. Investec Super Rugby. Three New Zealand teams through to the finals. You have to be happy about that. Parsons gets it away to Hall, now wider to West. Having a look on the inside, it's intercepted. Tearing away is Liam Messon. And he's going to score. What a huge try for the Chiefs. Let's watch this here. Here's the pass. Just reaches out one hand. Great skill to put it back into the other arm. And then just pins the ears back. And he knows he's going to get there. Slides over. They go down again. Chiefs trying to dig in. Kano takes it off the back. Hall gets it away to Moana. Try. There's no number eight there. He has to take first man. Bryn Hall commits the winger. Beautifully worked, and the Blues are back in it. Well, it's free passage again. This time for Kieran Reid. Use it once. And this is looking good again. Really hard to hold it up. And they score another one. It's Todd. Oh, Andy Ellis takes it smartly. Slings it wide. Now Dan. Fires it back and field Reed and Dolo. Oh, they're going to look at this, surely. Yeah. This is a quick tap from Ellis. They work it to the left. It goes across here to Carter. He's just run a gap there. He's not really taking anybody out for mine. He's just run yeah. the hole. That's good. That's good hands. Oh. Now they go wide. So for Wanga. Oh, yeah. A couple of players unmarked. Smith goes wide again. And Buckman. Gets up and goes again, Buckman fighting his way. Now, did he get it down? Yes, he did. So can they do it a third time? Sam Whitelock takes it in. And they're going to give it a go. Todd has gone to the back. Here they come. Todd still got it. Still got it, Todd. And Craig Zubair's right there. He's awarded it. ball was a big deal. A dress, shoes, hair, makeup, and a date to organise. He wore a green bow tie and a light blue suit. I'm not sure what he's doing now. Maybe something with his hands. <laughs> Rito, uh... I know uh, I'm not the ladies' man, but uh, I hear a lot about you. Uh, how, how did you go in, the, in your school ball? School ball? Um, yeah, it's good actually. It's an interesting story. I, I was obviously pretty successful because I'm still uh, going out with the girl I took to the school Jeez. ball. Yeah. Oh. So, um, no, I'm married to her now, so it's stuck. Um, so uh, didn't win any prizes at the ball, though, you know. <laughs> Can't scrub up that well. So. <laughs> Sorry? I missed my seventh form ball because we had um, New Zealand sevens camp, so had to go to that. But I went to my um, went the year before, so that was pretty good. I got to experience that at least. One bell of the ball actually. Oh, nice. oh flash! <laughs> Hunger, did you wear a suit? Nah, I didn't get to go to my seventh form ball. I was um, in New Zealand sevens team, so we were in Dubai uh, playing rugby. So I missed that. So uh, uh, the year after, I went to the after ball though. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, same. I didn't really get to the ball, I just went to the after party. 
<laughs> OK, so take three All Blacks, 15 balls, and a target. How many balls hit the target? All 15? 10? 5? You're kidding, right? Hi, I'm Conrad Smith. I'm Brodie Retallick. Uh, Dane Coles here. And this should be my game. That is strong. <laughs> Very good. That's yep. Well, I've got one. Oh, that one's a bit rough. Oh, that's... Yeah. One. Not uh, ideal, but it's a standing target. It's always hard to hit. Yeah! Smoked that one. I was feeling the pressure. <laughs>Yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with how things are going. I mean, um, running around with a bunch of schoolboys every now and then is, is pretty tough work, but I think I'm pretty blessed to be, you know, um, in this line of work for this long and still managing to, to hold my spot. So um, just excited, you know, like everyone else, every time you get the red black jersey and represent your country and your family, you know, you're always going to do what it takes to, to keep it going. Body's definitely been good to me, um, but I think, yeah, it is a state of mind. I think when you get a bit older, a bit wiser, um, tend to make sure that you're doing what you can to look after the body whereas you know um, when I first started you know you sort of just wanted to play and you did the training you didn't sort of think too far ahead so I've probably been a, um, a lot more professional in my later years um, so to speak and, and I guess I've been you know a bit of favour from the man upstairs to be playing this game this long. I hold myself you know pretty accountable for you know how I play and um, I'm always making sure always uh, you know, testing the boundaries that I'm, I'm doing my job to the utmost you know, of, of my ability and then obviously the second thing is to try and just nurture any, any of the young boys or um, if I get any feelings that you know, someone's um, a little bit anxious or a little bit uh, you know, worried about the game ahead, I like to be able to, to, to see that and to try and give them some reassurance that um, you know, they're definitely here for the right reasons and we've got the ability to do that and I guess that's part of my job now is to, the leadership boys is to, to nurture the, the new breed coming through um, to try and pass on some knowledge along the way as well but you know in saying that I still got to hold my spot so they're still uh, trying to make sure that I'm doing my thing um, in order for the team to be he heading in the right direction. Let's get something straight. Boys cheat. They love to cheat. Even if they don't get away with it, it's all part of the game. But if they do get away with it, it's even better. This is AB Normal High. It is the place where young men and women strive to better themselves in the pursuit of educational excellence. I said no talking. Out you go. Are you joking? Well, I'm not joking. 